Hello everyone, this is Chador, the UFC commentator for TV and Sports in Korea. We are now joined by the legendary UFC featherweight fighter himself, Kop Swanson. Hello sir, thanks for doing this interview. Ah, uh, no problem, thanks for having me. Now, you're famous for your exciting and explosive fighting style. How are your fights so aggressive, technical, and entertaining at the same time? Do you consciously think about these stuff while training? Uh, yeah, I've always been uh, a fan of fighters uh, since I started that were, you know, constantly pushing the action. Uh, and then I've always tried to push myself to be creative. And then I get, honestly, I get bored in there if we're not, like we train way too hard to stand and stare at each other. So I, if like the crowd starts like making noise, I'm like, oh man, I need to get to work. You know, we only have 15 minutes to play in here. So let's get after it. It, it almost sounds like you're in tune with the crowd when you're in there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now, many Korean fans were stoked to hear that your fight with Duho Choi back in 2016 was inducted to Hall of Fame earlier this year. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, it was a huge honor for me. Uh, you know, that fight is so special to me for so many reasons. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Choi and, uh, you know, what me and him did in there, you know, touched a lot of people and that's usually people's favorite fight of mine. So I was, I was honored for us both to be, you know, honored that night. And, um, just, just so you guys know, um, I really wanted to wear red shorts for this fight. So, um, I actually am coming out with the, 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 I had to get the Korean, uh, uh, flag icon on my uh, sweater so uh, I'll actually be using the Korean colors in, in honor of uh, you know Choi and me making the Hall of Fame oh that's so respectful now as fan of both of you guys I still rewatch that fight time to time it was so amazing <laughs> thank you thank you and uh, I, I'm not sure if you've heard but Duho Choi has publicly stated that he is aiming to make his UFC return any soon since your fight with him was so amazing, I have to ask you this question. If given the chance, would you like to fight him again at uh, any point in your career? Oh, definitely. Uh, I think that the fans would want it, you know, um, and, and, you know, that's it's an easy sell. When, when me and him had such a great war before, it's like, you know, why, why would you not want to do it again? So, yeah, if the opportunity's there, um, you know, I, I don't know how long I'll be fighting, but uh, if it worked out and, and the opportunity presented itself, I would be very honored to do it again. Oh, personally, I hope it happens. <laughs> All right. Um, now, now let's talk about your next fight with Jonathan Martinez. How's your preparation going for this weekend? Uh, you know, the preparation is done. Just trying to make the weight at this point. Uh, I've been dieting since June, so... I feel like I did everything smart, did everything the right way. And yeah, I'm excited. Now, to my understanding, Martinez is currently on a three win streak and uh, has been climbing up the ladders quite quickly. What are your thoughts on Jonathan as a fighter? Uh, I think he does a really good job at dictating the fight and kind of making his opponents fight his fight. Um, I don't think he's the most entertaining guy. I think he likes to slow it down and fight at his pace. So I think I'm going to have to disrupt that and, and uh, make, it a, make it a fun, crazy fight. Oh, any predictions as to how this fight will turn out? Uh, man, the last, you know, the three fights of mine or so have been in the first round, and that, that is way better than going to war for, <laughs> for three rounds. So I, I, in, a, in a perfect situation, I, I take them out in the first round. Oh, I certainly do hope that happens. Now, finally, any words you would like to say to the Korean fans who will be rooting for you this weekend? Yes, I, I got to tell you, I have had so many Korean people come up to me uh, all over, just in, in, in airports, uh, shopping at malls, just and, and it's people that I wouldn't assume is my demographic. And they're just so respectful and tell me that, uh, they love that fight, and so yeah, I'm huge fan of, of my of my Korean fans, and and for them to jump on board, even though you know my fight with you know my win over Choi, you know you beat a guy from their country and not 
not everyone likes that and they embrace me and I, I appreciate that. So I, I got a lot of love and respect for the Koreans. Wow. So humble. Uh, looking forward to your fight, sir. Best of luck. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Have a Cheers. good one. You too. Have a good day.